Yo, man, that's insanity. What are we, in India or something? How much shit does she have back there? That is incredible. She's like she's not going uphill. Anyway, let's go show you that Monte Carlo there. <clears throat> Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah. Since I'm here in my hood, look at this beautiful mural here. The only thing that's odd about that locomotive is that's a European type of locomotive. Why didn't the person do a North American type of locomotive? You know what I'm saying? But, you know me, I'm a perfectionist. Still a hell of a nice mural though. I did take a picture of it last year. I already used it one time for my uh, channel art page there on the old YouTube. Let's go see that Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Does this thing have Buick mags, or are those old... Oh no, those are old fucking vintage... Uh, I think those are Keystones. I like that. I like when people keep things original like that, you know? Well, it's not original to the car, but still, I mean, those fucking mags are as old as that Monte Carlo. You know, we're talking about like 30 years easy. You know? Nice big-ass tires. I would be surprised if this car had uh, had the 3.8 V6 in it, you know? Probably a 305, 307, 350. Straight car, though. Nice driver. I don't know what was up with that front bumper, though. I didn't like the looks of that. Oh, my God, it's got a C-plate on it. <clears throat> now, for you who don't live, for those of you who don't know much about cars and live outside of uh, Quebec, we have this thing called the C-plate. Uh, I had one of those once for my Buick, my 65. Basically, the C-plate is a collector car plate. And it means you're not allowed to drive more than 90 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> People usually buy these because if you put a regular plate, well, you know, it's much more expensive than plating a car in Ontario. And uh, it's... Uh, you're looking at like, well, I don't know, when I had my Buick, it was like a hundred bucks to plate uh, with a C plate, but if you plate with a normal plate, it's like, uh, you know, a hundred and, uh, excuse me, like over, probably over 300 bucks at this point. So it's a big difference, big difference, you know? And I'm gonna end this. I just wanna get a peek on the inside there. You can always tell the car's overall conditions by the interior and the originality. It looks uh, pretty damn good, actually. It's got power windows. It's got a club on it, so you know somebody cares. Eh? Who owns this car? It's a nice old ride. Again, 81 to 85. I think 86. They went with those uh, European style headlights. What were they called again? There, I think they were halogens. One piece, you know, instead of uh, two headlights or four, you should say. Anyway. That's about it.